been 30 years since mechanization came to the logging industry, and it didn't come easily. There has been resistance to change throughout the development of mechanization. Larry Legali has experienced a number of these changes since coming to work at Timberjack in the early 60s. As, as I can recall, really, when the chainsaw came in, that was a major, major change to the industry, getting away from the old buck saw. And I think the second very big one was the introduction of the, of the log skitter. The first skitters we sold, uh, the first 200 series, uh, we were selling for $6,200 a piece. So even then, it was, a, it was a considerable investment over a horse which might be worth $500 a, or, or less. By the mid-60s, the forest companies really caught on, some of the major forest companies. And uh, we were selling skidders in groups of 20, 30, and 40, and 50 at a time. Uh, and we slowly saw the disappearance of the horse and, and a shift right over to uh, tree length operations. Change was inevitable. Mechanization continued to move through the forest. And Timberjack led the way. It was the commitment that began more than 30 years ago to deliver the best tools possible to the logger. Over the years, we've worked to improve the skitter to make it safer, more productive, and more reliable. The development of the Timberjack family of 200 series skitters continued. In the late 60s and early 70s, we introduced Timberjack power shift skitters, the 350, 380, 450, and 480 models. They featured many improvements and innovations, better cabs, more power, improved reliability. By now, Timberjack had gained a reputation as the industry leader in design and manufacturing, with more than 20,000 log skidders sold. Then, in 1992, Timberjack introduced the C-Series. This machine proved to be one of the most popular skidders ever. The successful C-Series skidder not only met the market demands for a high productive and highly reliable machine, it also proved to be an important stepping stone to the next generation of skidder design, the 60 Series. Den Story was a key member of Project 3000, the code name for the 60 Series. Well, the, the 60 Series was developed as a uh, long-term project to answer the next generation of requirements from the end users, our customer base. We have found that although the C-Series has been very, very successful, there was limitations in the C-Series that we really couldn't uh, get out unless we redesigned from scratch. The 60-Series development, uh, once we had identified the, the targets that we were looking for, uh, continued in the mock-up stage, where rather than going right to steel, we mocked up a, a full-scale model uh, using outs outside consultants and using our obviously our own internal people, having it reviewed by some of our key dealers, key salesmen, and getting feedback at that stage. From the full-scale mock-up, we went into uh, drafting on CAD systems for what we hoped and, and found were more accurate uh, weldments, more accurate fit-up. And from that CAD system, we started developing uh, the first prototypes. In parallel to the prototype development was intensive level of uh, stress testing, uh, testing in, uh, on finite element analysis, and testing of the components both at the manufacturing level and in cycle tests. These uh, tests gave us an increased level of confidence even before the first prototype went out in the field on performance, on reliability, on cycle time success relative to our baseline product that we're running today. Once we got ready for the prototypes and generated the, the prototype builds, we set up test locations all around North America. One of the products actually went into France and Germany, testing in some of the hills and the applications offshore, and then developed further into the uh, intensive field follow-up with our product development people, our design engineers, our engineering staff, and we continued following up with those uh, field machines over the past two and a half years. In that way, we were able to keep on top of the products and the issues as they developed. Uh, we're able to get uh, input directly from the customer, directly from the dealer salesmen and service people that are out there at the same time, and running the machines side by side with current C-Series product, and also in many cases, competitive products. Because we wanted to find out face to face and head to head how these products responded and how these products performed in some of the tough applications right beside the key competitors. 
Some testing was done in the toughest conditions we could find. Ask Charles Griffin where he worked his prototype machines. In the Oak Brook Swamp, <laughs> yeah. really. Probably as bad or territory as you could run in, in this country, really and truly. I mean, really bad territory. You know, if you're gonna test anything, this is the place to test it, right here, because it don't get no worse, really and truly. Every Timberjack skidder ever built has been leading up to this. Our best performing, most comfortable, strongest, and easiest to service skidder ever. Timberjack 60 Series, a new generation of skidder. It has been designed from the operator's station outward to be an extension of the operator himself, a powerful and productive and reliable tool. With more than 150 improvements over the C-Series and new innovations, the 60-Series hits the ground running. There are major improvements everywhere you look, in performance, comfort, in reliability and service access. I think probably if any one item would sell me on the thing more than anything else is the transmission. And, and there again, I'm getting talking about the, the different ranges in the transmissions you have. You're not constantly shifting gears coming in and out of the swamp. And anytime you shift, you're getting a surge on the drivetrain. This one, you're not shifting, you just pick one and you go. You know, so it works. The new modulated power shift transmission features a soft shift with six speeds forward and three reverse. This provides the operator with three working speeds to maintain higher production speeds with the same or bigger loads and handle a wide range of tire sizes. The electronic gear selector, or EGS, needs only a bump to shift gears up or down. Contractors who have field tested 360 and 460 models have racked up several thousand hours point to the skidder's phenomenal pulling power from the new weight distribution and load balance. A transmission mounted clutch enables the winch drive shaft to be engaged only when the winch is activated, reducing wear and noise. And the no spin front axle and diff lock rear axle allows the skidder to maneuver with minimal sight disturbance. The spring on hydraulic off service brake is power assisted with new graphite brake pad material for longer life in high demand braking situations. Yes, hydraulics is very fast. Uh, I was telling some of them, I said, if you had an operator's hands was fast enough, you wouldn't have to stop, snag a load, you know. It is, it's, it's very fast compared to what we've been used to. Yeah, absolutely. The new closed center hydraulic system with piston pump delivers instant power on demand and faster speeds to all hydraulic functions. The single pump reduces the overall horsepower draw from hydraulics and makes more engine horsepower available for skidding. The constant pressure grapple circuit automatically adjusts the grapple tong close pressure by putting the joystick in the closed detent position, offering easy load control all the way to the landing. The closed center hydraulics allow for simultaneous steering and dozer control for increased productivity and reduced cycle times. The 60 series cab has taken operator comfort to new heights. There is incredible visibility in all directions, driving and working. And when I stepped in the cab, the first thing that I was, um, that, that stood out to me was um, the visibility, how much you can see forward and backwards around you. Uh, in my particular line, I do a lot of first time thinning, and uh, visibility is very important to keep from skinning up other trees, and uh, that's the first thing I really noticed. There is 67% more window area with improved forward visibility for a better view of the dozer blade for decking or avoiding stumps and debris. And the view out back is better than ever. 
With more than 35% more volume than the C-Series, the spacious cab is impressive. More than enough legroom with a flat floor and plenty of elbow room. The unitized sealed cab provides a comfortable, dust-free environment, and the high-capacity heater air conditioner adds to overall operator comfort and productivity. This is a great place to work. The brake pedal and throttle have been repositioned for ease of operation, and the fast Orbitrol steering provides precise skitter control. The comfort and productivity features of the cab continue with the location of the transmission and grapple controls, designed to be operated with one hand instead of two. The mirrors for monitoring the load without turning, the horn on the console, and the overhead console with dome lights washer wiper, and AM-FM cassette stereo. The fully adjustable suspension seat with retracting seat belts is angled 15 degrees to the right. This all adds up to increased comfort over a full work day, right to the end of the shift. Optional working lights can turn night into day with eight halogen lights on top of the cab and two in front. New 60 series skidders are built on our Timberjack Tough reputation, built strong and reliable. Uh, I've really been impressed with these things right up from the beginning, but uh, we, had a, we had a little problem, a heat problem with the big machine. Uh, after we had it about a week, they brought it back, they did some modifications on the thing, they changed all that, and you know, we got that thing back, and I told Greg, and until last Friday, we had a grapple control break that machine has not been down one minute for maintenance, nothing. Uh, and I have never run any kind of machine, you know, like that. I mean, you just don't, things like that don't happen. We had it down for one day and that was for service. That was it. And the thing just straight through, you know, you, you never hear these kind of things. We've improved the reliability of everything. From the new cylinder rod seals and weather pack electrical connectors, improved pivot design to extended winch drive shaft life. The improved engine cooling system has greatly increased performance for sustained work in hot climates. Service access doesn't get any better than this. Filler caps for fuel, hydraulic oil and engine oil are positioned close together to save time on daily servicing. You'll find ground level service with numerous hydraulic check ports and easy access to grease fittings. And of course, there is the tilt cab. Oh, the tilt cab. We try to do a lot of preventive maintenance and bring them in every so often and clean out from under them, um, clean them up good, reduce the fire hazards. And uh, if you got them clean, when you do have to work on them, it's not such a, a hard task. You can see what you're looking for any leaks and that tilt cab um, I'm really looking forward to it being a big plus with a hand pump conveniently located in the engine compartment the cab can be raised 45 degrees in just a few minutes this provides unbeatable access to the transmission hydraulic pumps and hoses and it's a good quick way to clean out debris with the 60 series in dash monitor system Troubleshooting was never easier. It monitors system performance and can detect and display problems as soon as they arise, before they become big problems. The system test function is easy to use. We've added many security features to the 60 series too. Features customers have asked for to protect their investment. The key start, to restrict operation to authorized personnel. Lockable covers and panels, and lockable filler caps on all reservoirs. The more you look into the new Timberjack 60 series, the more you will like it. The attention to detail and the added strength throughout. It is a machine built on the success of previous generations by the world leader in skitter technology, built to meet the challenge of today's market. And what has been the reaction in the field? Super, I guess. Uh, fantastic. I, I, it, it, it just overwhelmed me when I first saw it, 
It, uh, it looks so much better than I, I ever dreamed it would. We, we have been selling a very successful skidder now for a number of years. What we're going to be able to do is to offer to the logging industry for the very first time a brand new family of logging skidders. It's going to have features that are going to be built into it that are inherent to this machine that we've only dreamed about before. And as I look at this huge machine here today with all its modern improvements, uh, I would have never dreamed we would have come this far in, in, uh, in these uh, last 30 years. With the 60 series, Timberjack has charted the course of skitter development for many years to come. This is the beginning of a new generation. I think probably the people that's least worried about this machine is the people that's going to buy it that has not seen it. I think the people that's selling it, you know, they've got to get out and present something new. But I think once it's presented and once it gets out there, I don't think they got a problem. I really don't. I mean, if I was a salesman, it wouldn't scare me, not one bit. Well, but then there again, see, I know about the machine. <laughs>